Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to Sage Line 50 accounting. In this podcast, we're going to show you how to change the program date, which is helpful if you are making entries which have got to be made on a particular date, and that date may have already gone past. First of all, let's go down to the bottom of the screen here, and you can see that there is a date here, October 2009, and there is another date here, 30th of September 2010, and there's yet a further date right in the corner here, and that is the 4th of October 2012. So let's put these dates into perspective. First of all, the one in the very bottom right-hand corner, that is the system date on the computer. So by and large we can ignore that, although if you've no other date set on Sage, when you open the program, it will default to the computer date. The date here, the 30th of September 2010, that's the date. <coughs> excuse me. That's the date when the program is actually operating. So that's our program date, and October 2009 gives us a clue as to the financial year. So if I go into the settings and look at the financial year. It says the option cannot be run without any other windows open. Let's close that and look at it. We can see that the financial year starts in October 2009. So that basically is what that is trying to tell us, that the financial year s starts in October 2009. So you can probably realize that for the 30th of September 2010 is the 12th month of that financial year. Okay, let's just close that. And now if we go to the settings and we change the program date, it says enter a new date to be used as the default for transactions. This date can be changed at any time of posting. Well, let's just go and do this for you. Let's say we change the date to the 30th of October in 2010. That would be after the financial year. And it gives us a message, right? So in other words, we're saying you don't change the date outside the current financial year. So does that work the other way as well? Supposing we tried to go back before the current financial year. Okay, you can see we get this exactly the same message there. So we can only enter dates here which apply to the present financial year. So we were in the th on the 30th of September 2009. So let's go back to the 30th of August. We'll go back one month before to 2009. We will when I can get it typed in properly. 2009, there we are. Oops, sorry, 2010, David, get this right. Okay, 30th of August 2010. Right, so we've now got a date within the current financial year, and it's changed it here, 30th of August 2010. I'm just going to finish by changing it back again. And I want the 30th of September. So I'm now back to where I started, 30th of September 2010, and there we are, it shows it again at the bottom. So that shows you how we change the program date within Sage 950. Remember, you can only change it within the current financial year, and you should have a good reason for changing it. Now in AAT assessments, you might well find that it tells you to set a program date, and that's what they mean. You go into settings, Right at the top here, you go to change program date and you change it to whatever the assessment asks you to do. Thank you. Welcome to an introduction to accounting with SageLine 50. In this short podcast, we are going to show you how to back up and restore a company. At the moment, we have a company that is open, so we're going to go up and drop down the file menu. And we can see that the options here include backing up and restoring. So we will start by backing up our company. We click on backup. And it asks us, do we want to check our data before we run the backup? And our answer is yes. So we're going to go through and we can see that there are no problems. So there are no warnings, etc. We can close that and close that one as well. 
and now we are asked where do we want the company to be backed up so we can have a look down here and we have various locations which are available let me just browse through to show you of these locations we can back it up onto the current hard disk which is C because the disadvantage of that is if the current hard disk was damaged then you would lose your backups as well as your original this hard disk is partitioned into a second part a recovery part called D so if the hard disk was damaged it would be no good putting it there either we could back up to a DVD which is fine except the DVDs get damaged too so what we're going to choose is an external source and in this case we have two choices a removable disk F and an SD card which is here's cam SD I'm going to choose the removable disk X and back it up to an external source so I'm going to click on OK and we can now see that that's there as OK and the only thing that I want to look at next is the title for here Sage Accounts Total Photo Limited so it's given me the name of the company it's given me the date it's also giving me the time and what I'm going to do is insert in there my name into the file so that what you would do would be to put your name in and that would identify the company the date and the fact that it was you who created the backup so we would say OK and we can see that the backup has been successful so now on the external drive there I have a copy of Total Photo and just to do the reverse operation if I want to restore the company I click on restore then click on yes and I need to browse to see where it is and so I'm going to look down here and here I can see my removable disk there we are click on that there's my company Sage Accounts Total Photo Limited my name I'm going to open that and now all I have to do is click on OK and it gives me a warning I'm about to restore data this procedure will overwrite any data held in the current company so it's important to realize that if you have data on your system which was put on between then and your last backup well if you were to continue at this point you would lose it so since our backup is of the data that's already there it doesn't really matter but we're going to continue yes and that's it we've restored our company so that in very simple terms is how we back up and restore a company in Sage line 50